What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, really happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and check out a game that we checked out in the past when it was in a very, very early, basically prototype demo, sta uh, demo stage. Now, it's in a much more complete version and it's coming out on Steam. It's called Spin Ortality. If you've never played this game before, it's basically a game about geopolitical manipulation where you play the part of a CEO of a global national corporation that's essentially attempting to create all kinds of cyberware and technology and then using the money generated by those products to influence governments, overthrow, you know, entire nations, and then basically turn the entire planet into a corporate hegemony, essentially. And so that's, that's what we're going to be doing here today. Uh, I always play as Merovingian International when I play a game where I'm corporate, like when I play Syndicate and stuff like that. I've also got to pick a logo. I like the key because it's very Masonic, but at the same time, I also kind of like the future forward look of that right there, or like that. That's very threatening right there. That's a symbol that commands respect. I like it. It's almost got like the appearance of an eye on top of like a triangle. It, it feels good, so I'm going to go with that one right there. Let's dive on in. My first name is going to be, oh, I don't know. Chip Chorizo. Perfect. Chip Chorizo of Maravangian International, CEO. I've got to have, like, that hair right there. That seems like the hair that, like, a 30-something-year-old CEO with millions of dollars would have. All right. So welcome to the game. The board of directors are calling us right now. Welcome to the boardroom, Chip. I'm Wes Kane, former CEO of this enterprise, currently in an undisclosed location. But I don't think for a sec that that makes you safe if you get on my bad side. We're the board, the backstage puppet masters of the world around you. We have worked tirelessly to shape the world in our image. But though we command vast resources, there is one enemy that we cannot outrun. Death. At least not yet. We would like you to join us. Your career thus far has been marked with economic mediocrity and technical brilliance. We wish to alter that pattern. We have generously supplied the seed money for this startup. All we ask is that you research brain transfer technology and manufacture replacement bodies for us. In a word, we want you to make us immortal. If we all die, we'll take you with us via the expedience of an unpleasant fail-safe implant. Think of it as a breach of contract. And we've taken the liberty of hiring a small pool of workers to get you started. Your AI assistant is going to be able to explain everything else. That'll be all. Now go run the company. All right, so welcome to the world. I'm actually going to skip the tutorial because I know how to play the game. Um, I've played this quite a bit in the earlier access of the game. There may be some new systems and stuff like that that I'm unaware of, but I doubt that we'll get to it during the breadth of this first impressions video. So, this is the planet. Uh, there are different kind of segmentations. We have North America, South America, North Africa, South Africa, the Middle East, Europe, Russia, China, and then we have Australia, Oceania down here. And the... I think that uh, we got a pretty good chance of making a lot of money. So the first thing we want to go through is sort of the UI so that you guys know what I'm doing right here. Uh, we have our corporation, Merovingian International. We've got our connections uh, in the military with people of high class and with people in the hacking industry. We've got 0% corruption, no inefficiency, which is great. We have no public opinion right now because we're res relatively new on the scene. Uh, we're 50 years old and we're going to die in roughly 20 years, actually roughly 10 years, we're going to die. That gives us 40 turns to come up with some kind of cloning process that keeps us alive. We can also build a school of various types so that we can start cultivating connections in all of these different social cliques. But for right now, we're just going to ignore that. We have research. We have our workers. We've got five interns and five employees. We've got our butcher's bill over here when it comes to our profits so we can keep things nice and safe and in the black. We've got our board of directors, how happy they are with us, and also our authority. So with our authority, we can start to get authority, which allows us to push the board around a little bit. Like, if we, if we start to become more powerful in the sense that, like, we run entire countries, the board can't really, like, threaten us anymore. Like, we've got the ability, so long as we honor our contract, to be like, no, I'm not going to do that, and kind of shove them back when they have requests and things like that. Agendas are accessed through here. Uh, there's various agendas for assassinations and killing people and developing education. There's multiple types of victory over here. There's the Imperial Victory, where you unify the entire planet under, like, a corpo state. Uh, we've got Consumerism, which means that everybody loves you. You basically bought your way into every party. And you've converted the world into a democracy, apparently. And you've basically banished all laws with regards to technology. Uh, we've got the New World Order victory, which means that you've turned the planet into a corpo nation. Oh, I thought that this one was it. 
Uh, oh, never mind. So you can force a dictatorship over the entire planet, democracy over the entire planet. You can go with corporations take over the entire planet, or you can go with this one right here, which basically gives it all back to the people, and you try to actively make the world a better place. <laughs> that's not profitable. Anyways, that's pretty much all I got to show you. We have our number of connections right now is basically zero. We want to assign our workers to some jobs. I'm going to work on gene stims first over here. If we can get that down to, like, two days... That sounds pretty good to me. And then we'll have a couple of these guys start working on artificial intelligence so that we can start manufacturing our own cybernetic workers so that we don't need humans anymore. It's much cheaper for AIs to do our work than it is for human beings. We don't have to pay an AI a salary. They don't have anything to worry about. So let's pass to the next quarter. We have an email. Our scientists have identified a new line of research. Pursuing it could yield research gains, but it would put a strain on our company. We can gain research points right now, but we gain inefficiency, or we can not take the risk. Let's go for it. Why not? We'll take the research boost. Uh, we lost one intern team already. Interns quit a lot. I would recommend not having any interns. I would. That's just how I play the game. I never have interns. I only have workers and employees and cybernetic workers and AIs. I usually get rid of interns about as early on in the game as I possibly can. Every time an intern quits, you get inefficiency. And so you kind of want to stay on top of that. Otherwise, you'll start bleeding a lot of money due to things outside your control. There's a gala event. Major gala will be held tonight. You've received an invitation for a company representative. This will be a good opportunity to network and build our contacts. Who should we send? Uh, we need technical specialists, so we'll send them over for the cyber connections because we have a lot of inefficiency in our company, and it takes us three cyber connections to reduce that back down to zero so that we're not bleeding money out of our ears. Uh, there we go. One work group has been delayed. Oh, we got a bad roll right there. Our inefficiency caught up with us. All right, well, we completed the research on gene stims, though, and so let's take a look at it. With gene stims, we have quality sleep. So basically, we're trying to sell this to people that are interested in quality. So what we want to do is we want to go to different areas of the planet, and we want to look at people who are interested in quality. There's no quality right there. They don't care about quality. They don't care about quality. They don't care about quality. Everybody's all about convenience, man. They're killing me right now. They are killing me right now. We can't even sell our first technology. Oh, my God. Okay, so the way that we get around this, that's really, really bad luck. There's a lot of RNG that goes into this game. Uh, I'm going to put a bunch of interns on developing new marketing strategies for selling gene stems. And then from there, I'm also going to... Let's go after business tracking. That's all I can do for right now. We have no income at the moment, so we're kind of like bleeding money really, really badly. Uh, sir or madam, your assistance is requested as a non-Nigerian citizen to assist the Nigerian. Oh, we can send the movie, but we need a small deposit to open a Nigerian account. Yeah, do that one. It's a Nigerian phishing email. All right, I'll send the money, but I need a deposit to open a Nigerian account. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to troll them a little bit. Uh, the Gene Stims creative team thought of a new marketing angle. Good. With 20%, we got it on the first turn. Very nice. Uh, this is going to target spirituality. Sleep is peace. The modern world doesn't respect sleep, but it's been a part of us since time immemorial. A mysterious state where we recharge and touch our true selves. Normally, you do the touching your true self before you go to sleep, but I'll, I'll accept, you know, their way around it. So we're looking for spirituality right now. Nobody's spiritual over there. They are very spiritual here, so we'll go with that. On this side, they are not that spiritual. They are not spiritual at all. Man, we're just pulling up goose eggs right now. We've got some really, really bad luck this playthrough. Some really bad luck. They're spiritual in China. No, cancel that launch. We want sleep is peace. There we go. And these guys over here are not spiritual at all, and they value privacy. I could technically sell this for quality here, but it's only going to get like two stars. So I would rather release it later for more money. Uh, this should at least help us break even while we wait for other researches to get done. I'm going to keep them on that job over there. Did all of my new workers arrive? They did. Good. Get that down to two days. I want you guys on designer organs about as soon as possible. And I'd also like to hire more workers. Let's stay on it. We have new hires. Five employees right there. Nice. Uh, over on this side, you've also got, like, these newspapers that give you basically what's going on in the world. So Oceania has shifted towards chaos. 
Uh, the Middle East, have people have less time, which means they're into convenience. And South Africa, people are being unjustly arrested. And so people are more conscious of their civil liberties and freedoms. All right, good to know. Uh, we actually made a little bit of money that turn, so that's great. That's really, really good. Sir or madam, we understand that funds may be tight for you, so we've wired you a token sum of $500,000 to use as a deposit. We trust that you understand the urgency of our situation and deposit the money immediately in the Nigerian bank, followed by the aforementioned $2 million promised. Thank you. Boom. I'll take my half million. No problem. It's come to the board's attention that the following task is of utmost importance and should be undertaken as soon as possible. So we've got to raise profits to $15 million. That's a lot. It's a decent amount. We've got another gene stim. Free of the grind. Get up, work, sleep, eat, face it. We're all slaves, and we only get a glimpse of a life beyond our cage. Gene stim. So this is targeting freedom, which I think is going to be good. So these people are all about security. That's not going to help. They're all about security. Damn it. Damn it all to hell. Damn it all to hell. We have really, really bad luck this playthrough. Good God. None of these marketing angles are good for anybody. Ah! I've played this game a lot, and this is honestly the worst start that I've ever had. This is really, really bad. Like, super bad. Like, disgustingly bad. Oh my god. Uh, sleep is peace, so they're impressed that we did that without a focus test. Well, you know, it's not that hard. We're making a little bit of money, but we gotta do something. So we have business tracking now. Let's maybe see if we can make money off business tracking. Uh, let's see here. Automation is the new way to do business. Let's go ahead and we will research that to figure out what it's targeting, because I'm not really sure. It's probably for monetary wealth, would be my guess, but sometimes you guess wrong. Uh, it's for novelty and convenience. Okay. So they're all about convenience over here. We are going to, nonetheless, we're going to launch that here. We're going to launch that here. I need money, like, really, really badly. We kind of need to start making money, like, right now. And then we'll put this over here. And everybody else has kind of just got us a little, little screwed right now. Wish we could sell it a little bit better, but unfortunately it's not going that way. Oh uh, well, at least we got some new products on the market. Graduates are a good source of future connections. Investing in a sponsorship program may result in some connections down the line. Uh, yeah, let's sponsor some hackathons. Cost us a little bit of money, but I think it's worth it. Our research is done on business tracking, and we have five new employees ready to go. Good. Because I need this to be worked on, like right now. And I need that to be worked on pretty soon, too. We'll put a few more people into researching marketing angles for business tracking. And then we'll just hope everything works out. We lost one of our interns. Bummer. Uh, your interns are wondering whether we're going to hire them full-time. Uh, yeah, promote all of them. Sure. Absolutely. That's a great way to get rid of all your interns and just convert them into flat-out better employees. So I wouldn't turn down the opportunity at all. That's, like, perfect. Uh, we got a couple people working on gene stims right now. Hopefully we'll luck out with that. We lost one of our interns, which is a bummer, but hire a few more workers. All right, so business tracking is not doing great, but we didn't have anything that really, like, matched its criteria, unfortunately, so there's not much I can do there. The board is apparently upset with us. Let's see here. Jip Chorizo, this is an automated message reminding you to remember the important tasks in your life become immortal. Well, thank you, AI. I appreciate that. Uh, we have a research opportunity. Uh, no, nah, I don't take the risk on it. I don't really care about the inefficiency or whatever. We'll restructure right there and we'll restructure right there to keep our corruption and everything else down. Let's keep riding. All right, so a key ingredient in the production of gene stems is a molecule that is only found in the Ascension Lily, a plant native to Europe. It has been increasingly difficult to source this plant, so our gene stem production is not kept up with demand. This means that profits are falling. There's one other option. We can force Europe to its knees, then sweep in and take as much of the plant as we want. And we can use two military connections to throw Europe into chaos so that we can get that. We can lose 20 million with a synthetic substitute, or we can lose 20% income from our gene stems. We'll go with that right there. We'll take the, we'll overthrow Europe, apparently. We're going to cause all kinds of chaos in Europe. We've got new hires. Good. That's what I like to see. 
Uh, let's put some more people on Gene Stims and business tracking. We've got an AI right now that's capable of working on new projects, so we'll do that. Designer organs are almost done. That's going to take a while to get done, so I think I'll probably just shift that person there just because we have nothing else going on anyways. So research is complete on AI version 1.0. What that does is it gives us AI workers. We can also produce AI workers. Uh, they research much more rapidly than normal employees. They cost the same amount, but they're not good at coming up with marketing angles. So that's one of those things that you'll want to think about. Creativity report. Good. So be a part of something. Businesses aren't islands. We're all part of something bigger. Our families, our communities, and our planet. Better efficiency means giving more to that community. Okay. And then we've also got take your time for gene stems. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to keep researching uh, with gene stems. What does take your time target? Convenience. Now we're in it. Okay. So let's launch that there. We want gene stems here. They were all about convenience just a second ago, weren't they? Yeah. Take your time. Convenience. We're going to launch that there. They're not too much about convenience there. They are, however, so let's launch these here. Now we're going to start making some money. Good God, man. Good God. We can launch those there. Those have already been launched. Got the new business era. That's more than likely targeting collectivism for business tracking, I think. Yeah, collectivism and multiculturalism. Okay, we can go for that. That's all right. Uh, with North Africa right here, they are all about that right there, so we can do that as well. I'm trying to launch something everywhere right now. Body armor. So that's probably all about security would be my guess. Yeah, it is. Uh, we've also got convenience and novelty, which for them are completely and totally opposite of one another. Gross. Can't really do much with the Middle East right now. It's disappointing. It's very, very disappointing. But the Middle East just seems to be kind of confused in this playthrough. It doesn't know, like, what it wants at the moment. Uh, we've got, let's see here, we are having increasing difficulty sourcing the Ascension Lily, a key ingredient for gene stem. Bear in mind these problems will go away if Europe's government collapses. Yeah, keep organizing coups in Europe. Why not? We might as well. Let's see. Due to our military intervention, Europe has fallen into chaos. We have seized the Ascension Lilies as possible, and we should no longer have a problem with supply. So we can't earn any money from Europe right now because it's in the process of burning down and everybody's killing each other. They're calling each other very, very foul names. They're generally not being friends. We basically kicked off World War III in Europe. Everybody's trying to kill each other. The UN is down. NATO is no longer functioning. Uh, we're kind of assholes, in all honesty. We're kind of a dick. Some workers have not been assigned. Oh, yeah, we finished some stuff, didn't we? Gene splicing has one more thing we can target. Social media is almost done. Let's go ahead and we'll put some people into meta friendship. We will put some people into designer organs. Actually, maybe not. Let's put some people into Project Frankenstein. We've got to figure out a way to make sure we don't die before this gets worse. I can make a birth clone. By growing a clone with customer DNA, we can provide transplant organs, skin, grass, blood, and marrow transfusions. Yeah, they're talking about doing that right now. I saw that in a documentary where they were talking about the possibility of growing brain-dead human clones of you. It's basically you without a brain. Like, they just grow a complete and total copy of you. That way, they've just got it in a drawer somewhere, on file, in case you ever need anything. It's like a, so that it's apparently probably going to be really, really expensive, but it's an interesting idea, I think. It's an interesting concept. I'm going to need, like, some of these people off of their jobs pretty soon. We've, we're dumping a lot of people into some of these projects that could be better used somewhere else. Business tracking's not almost done. Social media and meta friendship are moving along. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's see how much money we make on the next turn. $72 million. We have a new task. Raise public opinion. Public opinion is too low. Raise it to at least 2%. 
Public opinion is pretty bad. An idea for raising public opinion. It's dipping a little. We can improve it by handing out free services. If you'd like more ways to raise public opinion, we suggest pursuing the charity drives agenda. Okay, so we've got our PR over here. Uh, we've got 25 million in free giveaways. Yeah, let's go for it. It's a PR stunt, apparently. We're out here stunting. We're out here stunting. Stay up to date. Cancel the launch on that. I don't want to launch that just yet. New tech, welcome to the cutting edge. So this is probably targeting novelty, would be my guess. Novelty and wealth, it looks like. They're all about security here. So let's launch designer organs in North America for, like, human Kevlar, basically. We'll launch it in South America, too, because they seem to be concerned about that. Uh, with social media, we want material wealth is the big part. Wealth and novelty. So, unfortunately, that's not going to help. Social media might launch okay here, although material wealth is a minor right there. They don't really care about security, so I can't do anything on that side. They don't care about security. They don't care about material wealth. They do care about it over here. But they don't care about publicity and novelty, which is really what's hurting us right now. They're making this very, very difficult. Selling stuff to the Middle East is, like, next to impossible. They're just ducking all of our criteria. It's just... We just can't seem to sell anything in the Middle East. We just can't seem to do it. We're trying so hard. We're like, Middle East, let us sell you our products. And they're just like, no. Every single thing. We like one part of it. We hate the other part of it. And I'm just like, Arr! I've got an entire like section of the planet that I can't do anything with. Novelty and convenience, collectivism and multiculturalism, social media, material wealth. Yeah, not that helpful. Not that helpful. Yeah, they don't really care about that either. They don't really care about security. Tough one. Tough one. We're going to have to come up with some new marketing angles. That is the truth. The board happily recognized the success of your mission, raised profits, and are pleased to report you received the following reward. We've got one of each cyber connection, and our authority is a bit more respected by the board, as denoted by us standing in a doorway all creepy right there on that tooltip, because... If there's one thing I know about me, it's that I like to stand in doorways all creepy whenever I've got the smallest bit of authority. Like, nothing's happening right there. We're going to have to figure out a new way to sell social media as well. We'll add the AI to Project Frankenstein. Yay! We got some more public opinion right there. We're moving it on up. I think the board might be kind of upset with us right now, though. They're not, like, amazingly happy with us, but we got to figure out a way to raise our public opinion to 2%. I could probably do an agenda. We've got Black Ops. We've got Education. 20% public on Completion. And 5 every turn thereafter. Every 8 turns of Random Nations culture moves towards security, privacy, or novelty. Oh, it takes me eight influence to unlock, or ten influence. I can't do that, so we're just going to have to keep bribing people, unfortunately. That's going to eat into our bottom line, but hey. Uh, what does this say? People are complaining that our designer organs are too expensive for everyday people and that we're catering to the 1%. Why do we care what they're saying? God, all of these are such massive penalties. I'm not losing the money on my designer organs, dude. Those things are expensive. I don't care. Let's see. Never alone. We're never alone. Oh, good. We got some new stuff. So for social and media, we've got never alone. Business tracking, we got time to shine. And then gene stims, we've got a new way to be. So that's for novelty. That's more than likely for publicity. And that's more than likely for collectivism, I would think. I would guess. Let's reassign some of these people to other projects. Uh, designer organs. We're going to need some people on there grabbing us some new intel. Social media. We're still working on that. Meta friendship has a couple more turns till it's done. We're completely done with gene stems, which is great. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Project Frankenstein's coming up soon. 
So, social media, we've got never alone. I guarantee that targets collectivism. It's probably collectivism, and it's probably maybe for business tracking, we've got time to shine. That's publicity, I would guess. Oh, it's individualism. Okay. All right, well, I'm glad that I checked it before I ran it, that's for sure. Uh, we can release that here. I don't know if that's going to be better. I doubt it's going to be a better thing, so maybe not. Maybe not. Designer organs, we've got body armor, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we got two out of the three. We'll try. We'll try. We got two out of the three right there, but no guarantees. Designer organs, they don't really care about that. God, dude. They just they just don't care about any of these things. I don't know how I'm gonna sell my products. Oh, I just wanna sell you objects. I just want to sell you objects that you don't want. That's all that I want, is to sell you things that you don't like. Can't launch business tracking there. Can't really launch that there. Novelty, material, wealth, collectivism. Can't launch that there either. Man! We're getting hurt right now, uh, but we're out of time for the day. This game is called Spin Ortality. I hope you guys like it. Uh, it's a game about manipulating the planet. I mean, we can also go in. We didn't even talk about all the political stuff. So every single nation has their own party system, whether they're democratic or whether they're dictatorships. And then from there, you can influence by donating to parties or you can throw places into ruin. And then while they're in ruin, we can found a corpo nation while we're in there if we had 30 military connections. Like, it's kind of wild. Like, we could actually take over this country right now and then sell shares of the company to other corporations. That's wild, right? But anyways, that's further on into the game. I'll see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by. Hi-do, everybody.